Yeah, real fucking cool. This shit getting uh, real out of hand. Yeah, that's cool. I love it. This time my OBS studio click crashed. And I don't fucking know if I have the rest of the VOD here. I'm gonna be upset if I don't. Alright, it looks like it's here. Cause it looks like I'm on the same screen I was on just a moment ago. Perfect. Oh, this is a pain. What a pain. What a pain. Oh, this was my old stream. I already uploaded that. This is 31 seconds. Wait a minute, what? Hold on a second. Oh, you know why? Because I never disconnected after the first one. I never actually stopped streaming on, like, internally. So everything's in one solid file. And thank God it's all intact. Oh my god. Really, just... Uh, man, what... Why does this shit have to happen? Like, what's happening exactly that it loses connection like that? I'm not- I'm not happy about this. Give me a second, I need to check something else here. I can't win with this- with this dungeon. This dungeon fucks me up every way. Every which way. Okay, so that's the part- so these two videos I don't need anymore at all. I can- Select them, delete them, save some space here. Close, drop this, empty this, put this here. Really need to know what the fuck is going on here, because it's just, it, this is just super frustrating. Now I just kind of want to get the stream done with, because it's like, why am I bothering? It's, it's like, why? Why is that happening? Why is it happening so much? It can't be this computer. It really can't. It can't... I don't know. It's something, something's broken somewhere, and that's really frustrating me. I don't think it was OBS Studio, but I think OBS Studio crashed as a result of it, so... I'm not super happy about that. becomes like a reoccurring thing every stream, like how OBS Studio did that to me, I'm gonna be none too happy. Because I don't ask for a lot out of my computer, I ask for it to just not drop me while I'm streaming. And uh, it's, it's not delivering on that promise. killed yet. Holy. Oh, it's the one that resists holy. Cool. The problem is it comes down to it being like an internet issue. Like I can't figure out where that went where that went down. Did it just quickly go down and come back up? Is there something wrong with the router? Is there something wrong with my service? Is my computer breaking? It's probably not OBS, even though OBS did crash. Which is already, you know, that's fun.
it's just very frustrating. Like, I remember getting this frustrated with OBS Studio, too. And now it's like, I don't know who to trust anymore. never got a second fire. Oh, well, I mean, should be fine with just Blizzaga. But if not, I'm gonna be pissed. Good to have that, but I think I already have that artifact actually. I think I have Moogle, Chocobo, and Gobby Pockets. Yep, I do. I only need an uh, ultimate pocket, but I get to keep that for this dungeon at least, which is nice. deal with this shit again. So let's put Blizzard, Blizzard, and Blizzard. So that'll give it a delay before it goes off. Let's put fire on this. Remove that. Assume that this, uh, we could put, just put a Phoenix down here. Izzy. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by. Oi. Okay. This might take a little practice, but we should be able to do this. Cure Cure Raise? Cure Raise Raise? Cure Clear Raise? Fuck, I have to look it up. I keep forgetting how to fuse, uh, haste. Life Cure Cure. Okay, so it's Raise Cure Cure. Raise top, then two cures. Oh, 
Why? Why didn't it work? What are you doing? Why do you miss? Why he miss? Ah. It makes no sense though. I'm hitting. This is as fast as I could do it. Mm. It's it's still not possible. This is the one puzzle. You can't do in single player for some reason. Why? Why is it like that? I'm so angry at this. Hey. It's just. It, they couldn't just give you like a second more. Like a micro... Something... Be happy until I've defeated this. Wait a minute. I stand here. That didn't count. It's not ice, is it? God. Fuck, dude. Fuck. Alright. Gonna need Holy. Let's do Blizzara. And then Fire. Now, you know what? Let's not even do Blizzara. Let's just do Blizzard. Move. Move. Fire, move, cure, phoenix down. at least. At least something came out of all this.
Oh, this is cool. I guess difficulty in this game is just throwing a shitload of enemies at you and expecting you to not make it out alive. Fuck! You mean to do that? wasn't worth it. Hold the armor, which I already had. Alright, well, time to finally finish this dungeon. At least it didn't take the entire stream to do so, even after I got stopped multiple times. Puzzle though, man. Why? Why design it like that? That's the most frustrating thing ever to do in single player. I'm sure it's incredibly easy in, in multiplayer. But it's like the only puzzle in this game that's more frustrating than it's worth. Anyway, we got to, uh... Nope, keep that... Keep this fused. Unfuse these. There we go. That's what we need for the, the dungeon, or the boss here. Oh, weird, I don't remember there just being a giant abyss outside this arena. fires on the other side. Yeah. Wait, that's not fire, is it? I don't know. Let me, let me kill the ads first.
probably best to just play it safe and use holy here. I don't have to switch at least. Strikes that and it can hit once. A lot of build up just to kill him in like two minutes. Now we've done the two longest dungeons, now to do the two short but extremely difficult ones. After I go to Magno again, which honestly at this rate I might not even be able to do, well I'll probably be able to do the Mount Kalanda again, but uh, I think the desert will have to wait till tomorrow and then one more dungeon after that and I think it's going to be close to the time where I stop and finish the game. your service, Capo. Capo! Here you go, Capo. Another letter from Denam. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Slowly but surely, I'm adapting to it. Just a little longer, then I'll truly be free. You must give up. Can't wait. I love how the first answer is now, like, the, the bad one. It's a lot of enemies. Ooh, what I get? Masquerade plus three strength plus two defense. Defense plus two strength. Oh, cool. So I have no, uh, and not get any magic items here that I can use. I don't really need the defense. So I'll probably just take the uh, strength, honestly.
Yeah, it's, it's every day there's a new problem. It's just frustrating to deal with. I, I fucking... Don't ask for a lot, just that my stream works. I feel like this might have run faster on the GameCube and that this music syncs up better with this. I seem to remember the music like ending right as the crystal glows right there. Whatchamacallit here. My eighth year comes to a close. One day, a star fell from the heavens. Memories lost their glow, and the crystal grew dim. From the darkness, a great evil soon emerged. The rest can be heard in Shella, but this is no children's tale. Excuse me. The rest can be heard in Shella, but this is no children's tale. The meteor was as real as monsters in miasma. Year 9. Alright, we could definitely do two stars down there. Then I might finish off this year with level 3 of the first dungeon. Because these two are the only two left on cycle two. But I'm going to head straight to uh, Magmel first. Just to get some story out of it. Sonic Hammer, plus two. Ooh, that's better than I have now. Prism Hammer. Master's Weapon, that's... I have that, I just don't use it. Mithril Plate. Eternal Helm. Stop Resistance, plus one. stuff. It's not like I need it. Weapon. Uh, I wanted, wanted an ultimate weapon. Mithril Armor, Frost Eternal, Pure Holy, 
shield, I don't need gloves. Shield and gloves, I don't need. Shield, gloves, belt. These three. Stop in town and uh, sell that shit off and see what I could forge. Your ends a beating. I defeated the Lich at Rabenetera and quickly corrected a drop of myrrh. Mog was worried about the beating I took, but I somehow emerged from the fray with my life. Although I have won a number of battles, I must always be vigilant. I don't, you don't get like a story beat as soon as you leave now, even though there's still story beats I haven't hit yet. But I can't do anything with this other than store it. Very weird. Craft that up in Shella. Oh, these both have the same thing. It's just stop and slow. Should probably get the stop resistance. Fairy kit's not for me either. sell all these blueprints, honestly, aside from the ones that'll, like, help me.
Also love how it's been a decade now, and no one's shown any signs of aging at all. really look like they're worth it. These are all just for status resistances, which might be helpful at some point. Probably shouldn't sell those off, honestly. so much more. I don't really need to sell any of this stuff, do I? I have still my one loaf of Bannock that I have not gotten yet. Or I've not eaten yet. That Amadati so graciously uh, gifted to me. I don't think there was anything I needed to get from Shella. Stiltskin's here again. What? Why? I just thought of something I once heard in a fairy tale. What was it now? A demon? If I remember right, this thing would munch on memories that had lost their glow. And that's how monsters came about. Or so it went. So maybe the monsters are the tears of memory. Wow. That was rather poetic, wasn't it? Well, anyway, maybe it's true. Are just another kind of monster. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing another dungeon tonight. Those those unfortunate stop. Well, I, I, honestly, even if it wasn't, it would only be. I would have only saved like 10 minutes total, and I still have another like 10 minutes worth of uh, map wandering to do here, so I'll probably have to cut it short and come back to us tomorrow. Back. There. 
They don't sell anything new. Miasma resistance, like, is that really, like, necessary? I think I've hit the point in the game where most of these characters aren't saying anything new. His child was born a few days ago, so he told us to take over here. He serves as a guard at the castle now. He said that the city was no place to raise children. <laughs> so we wanted to move out to the country. We barely stopped him. That's how crazy he is about this child-rearing business. He's entered a stage of life we can't begin to fathom. Kids? What are you, like little kids? Send a gift. You want to send him some money? No, uh, I want to send him... Oh, fucking... Strong arm me into sending money, sure. Whatever, I'm loaded. Here. Ten percent. I'll make sure he gets it. He'll certainly be grateful. I guess that's the end of, uh, Soul's storyline. retirement. I ran across the caravan from Alphataria. There was one less person among them. I was afraid a monster had gotten someone, but they say that Soul had retired. He'd become a father, so we returned to the city. Speaking of family, I wonder how everyone back home is doing. I mean, I just saw them a few minutes ago. So I wonder, if I go back to Alphataria, is Soul gonna be there now? I think I'm heading in that direction. back here one more time.
actually here. Just flavor text to write them out. freaked out that it's been a decade and you have not grown a day older, kid? You're all freaks, all of you. Says the guy who's a spirit in armor. Hmm. He's a guard inside the castle that you don't get to go to. Amadati. Good day. Listen, a foreign substance invaded the world model. It has consumed the model completely from within. Now the world model is nothing more than a monster model. That world model lacked a simulation of the crystal's power. It was therefore destined to perish. Yeah, we have sure. determined that the foreign substance did not originate within the world model. It must have come from outside and absorbed the world model's power. And of course, that's, you know, related to the meteor. Such a phenomenon happened to our world long ago, too. An ancient Selkic text, recently unearthed, states the following. A meteor carried miasma to our world. There are discrepancies between that and the model, however. The foreign substance absorbed the power of the model, but what of this world? You may be surprised to learn that we have given little thought to the source of the miasma. We also considered the sudden outbreak of monsters to be part of the world's design. Oh, well, it's a foreign entity. For example, have you ever seen young orcs or witnessed their birth? They are such prominent monsters, yet their origins have never been documented. Miasma came from the outside, and something continues to generate it. But from where? Although most monsters are not biological, they continue to spawn. How can this be? And How do this be? The source of their energy. The How do world it? model has opened our eyes to several important facets that we previously overlooked. Y you guys know that was just a loaf of bread, right? Remember, never underestimate Bannock. Oh, they knew. They did know. What do you know? And yet Amadati still paid 5,000 gil for it. World model. The end. I came across Amadati in his caravan. He knew it was nothing but Bannock, but he would not let himself think that way. His kind are peculiar folk, but now I believe that this is how they seek knowledge. Maybe that loaf was merely a tool for his philosophy. Never underestimate Amadati. 
Does it like, actually say that the story's over? No, it doesn't. You just kind of left to uh, assume. Alright, let's go to Denom. Denom. Well, Denom will be involved in the next stream at least. But let's, uh. Let's head to the end here. Or Magmel, that's what I meant to say. was mistaken. Let me go back here too and just see if uh because there's another plot point with two characters here. And they just disappeared. Or no, they didn't disappear. I talked to them last year. I wonder if they're still here. here anymore. I wonder where they went off to and who they were. Game never really explained that. It was like a dude with a giant mustache and he had a dog with a mustache too. And they were chasing after a young woman. Oh. oh, it's the Selkie. I haven't bought stuff from him in a while. Not that I really need to. Mithril? Wow, that's all. That's, that's expensive shit.
right, time for our yearly dose of magmail. Then I'll head back and I'll probably stop once I get to Mount Kalanda. Actually, no, when you hit that, you hit the uh, dungeon automatically. So I'll go back to the uh, place. Oh, look, the carbuncle's not here anymore. I think they're all awake now. I wonder if they'll all talk to me immediately. You... What? What is a mortal doing here? You... So the other ones don't talk completely. You... saying one thing each. That might mean I have to come back following year. Unless the carbuncle in the back is the only one that gives you information. By the crystal. Let me sleep, will you? By... Do you want? Well, okay. Very slow moving, chill creatures. Why are you here? Oh, mortals? This is rare indeed. I came all this way to find out why we Moogles can survive out in the miasma. I thought we might be monsters, but it can't be. We're as different from them as we are from you. But I get the feeling that Moogles have a lot in common with the creatures here. Interesting. Oh, you're back. I've thought so many thoughts since we last spoke. You are attempting to do something great. So, I should tell you what I know. Long ago, there existed a great crystal. Did I hear this last time? People live their lives blessed with its radiance. One day, a great star fell from the sky and shattered the crystal. Miasma spread across the world. That was the beginning of it all. The crystal's blessings faded with its light. The world grew dark under Miasma's reign of death. It's interesting because the game kind of tells you this multiple times. The shards of the crystal still kept Miasma at bay. People soon gathered around them. And there they built settlements. But that was very long ago. No mortal now would know of such things. Can you 
you speak a little faster, buddy? Long ago, one oh, okay. The crystal shard. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, we've got all we've sucked all the information we can out of that NPC for now. I don't know if there's any more to it. There might be a little more here. Guess we'll have to come back in year 10. Honestly, if I can't beat this tomorrow, which seems possible, because given how long it takes to go through these dungeons and the fact that I want to do one more whole year here, uh, I might just start doing the level 3 dungeons on my own, and then just come back when I'm next available and uh, finish the story. But I'll just head to the uh, the dock now, and we'll, we'll end it there. This was uh, an unfortunate stream. I'm upset that I got disconnected twice. I would have been happy if I could have at least reconnected and had it keep recording, but even that didn't work because I had two disconnects. And the second time, OBS literally crashed. And that doesn't put me in a good mood. After all the crap I dealt with with Streamlabs OBS, I thought just switching back to the original would stop that. And it's not its fault. It's probably something else, but who fucking knows. It's gonna take me forever to diagnose it. Anyway, let me just see if there's any more random encounters, get to the end, and we'll be good. It definitely feels like the uh, sunken cost fallacy is setting in. There's a lot less to gain out of each year now, aside from doing dungeons. So once I finish these last two level 2 dungeons and start year 10, I'll probably wrap it up and head to the post-game. And nothing. Try for one more. Nothing. Alright. Well, I'm progressing through this game at a fucking snail's pace. Um, but for sure, we'd be done with the... Uh, we'd be on our way to the final finale here. But, uh, it's fine. 24 hours, 49 minutes. I can definitely do this before 30 hours. Uh, but that'll be it for tonight. Probably be back with more of this tomorrow. Like I said, I'm putting Legend of Mana on hold until I can finish this. I kind of just started it for my anniversary and then I never went back to it. Um, hopefully I can get this done by next, by the like beginning of next week. Then work on the post game, work, work towards playing the post game, and I'll probably stream that afterwards. I'll probably do Legend of Mana in the meantime. And then uh, we'll see what happens after that. Got a couple more games I have planned, but also a lot of games coming out that I want to stream too, so we'll have to see. Uh, thankfully, that doesn't start until November, so we've got the rest of this month and all of October to do it, and most of November, honestly. I think most of the stuff that I'm going to stream comes at the end of November, so we'll see where things go. Uh, hopefully, I can get back on track. If not, it's no big deal, I guess, uh, but thanks for coming, you guys. Always appreciate it. Uh, if you want to watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wild abandon. Plenty of people there who are streaming right now. Uh, I'm sure you can find someone great there, no matter what time of day it is. Uh, thank you for coming again. Uh, you guys have a great evening, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night.